For months now, Netflix has been dealing with backlash surrounding The Witcher. After Henry Cavill's shocking announcement that he was leaving the role of Geralt, the role that, in his own words, was a role he dreamed of, the thing that he wanted to do forever and promised to do as long as they stayed true to the source material. Well, that didn't happen. Netflix didn't hold up their end. The showrunners, the writers, everybody involved in making this show, they were more worried about pushing their identity politics and propaganda and agenda instead of actually doing right by the fans. And as a result, Henry Cavill said, you know what? I'm gone. And Netflix probably thought, well, this will blow over. Yeah, there's a petition that's got like 3 million signatures to restore Henry Cavill as The Witcher and fire the writers and fire the showrunner. But, you know, I'm sure they'll get over it. We'll wait a couple months and then we'll put out the teaser for season three and everything will be fine. Well, that's not exactly the case. The season three trailer is here along with the, uh, the, the knowledge that they're going to release it in two parts. It's almost like they are that desperate that they're going to need to release it in two parts to go away from the typical release for Netflix to try to get people to watch this over a certain period of time. But they did make the announcement with this big trailer. And we talked about even the tease for the trailer got destroyed. We saw one image where they decided to hide Henry Cavill's face, and that was enough to make fans furious. And as you can see, the full trailer did not go any better. This is The Witcher. This is what Netflix thought was going to be their Game of Thrones. This is one of their highest or most watched uh, shows of all time. And it's getting ratioed by the fans. Look at this. 136,000 dislikes to 43,000 likes. And when you go through the comments section, it's incredibly predictable. It'll never be the same without Henry. He's our Geralt. Respect your actors. Respect the source material. Respect your audience. Thank you, Henry. You spoke for all of us. When Geralt says, I truly understand fear, that was the line he used walking into the writer's room. Uh, I love the part where Henry reads the script and says, now for the first time I understand real fear. Holy cow, when Geralt says, Lauren, you were supposed to destroy the Sith, not join them. Uh, we will miss you, Henry. All this stuff about Henry Cavill. Netflix is going to find out the hard way they needed Henry Cavill more than Henry needed them. No one can replace Henry Cavill's charisma or acting skills so will, and will always be my idol. This is what you get. And we already saw with Blood Origin, with Netflix Blood Origin, the backlash surrounding that, the terrible Rotten Tomatoes score, the trailers that got ratioed, and the fact that nobody watched that show. That should have been an indicator that the writing was on the wall, that they have permanently damaged their brand by Henry Cavill quitting. And that's really what's going on. When Henry Cavill quits, replace him with Liam Hemsworth, oh, don't worry, we'll keep going forward. The fan base said, okay, that's enough. We had we looked past a lot of bullshit, a lot of changes to the lore because we wanted to see Henry. We wanted to see Henry as Geralt, but that is over now. Lauren Histrich, the executives at Netflix, I'm sure they're going to continue to try to spin it. Again, they're already, they're already being forced to release this in two parts. They're almost treating it like it is the final season because, to be quite frank, it might be. The, the damage that they have done to this brand for them is probably unrepairable. I don't think they're going to get a large portion of the audience back. I think there's some people that are going to watch this last one for, for Henry Cavill and then not come back. So that might trick them into doing another season. They've been talking about, oh, let's produce four and five at the same time. I don't think the, uh, I, I don't think the audience is going to be there. I don't think the demand is going to be there for The Witcher Season 4 after people watch this. The problem, the changes they've made, the disrespect they've shown to the fans, and finally pushing away Henry Cavill, that's the last straw for a lot of people. The backlash for this is probably bigger than Netflix ever could have possibly anticipated because they have now destroyed something that they thought was going to be some of their core programming going on for years. Let me know your thoughts about all this in the comments section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.